Catching up with the one, the only, Tyler Main on the underground. It is Ned Tyler. How are you, man? Hey, man, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate you taking time out. And on a Michael Myers Monday as well, how special is that? That is amazing. That is amazing. amazing. It's It's a great day. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it most definitely is man and we are just days away from the astronomicon you are set to do photo opportunities as michael can you tell us about this and the charity that it is going to deliver yeah i'm so excited about that i have never done this before this is the very first one we're doing we are going to be doing them at a couple other shows too But my production company, Main Entertainment, is doing a graphic novel, and it is called The Last Spartan Red Tape. Imagine Sons of Anarchy meets True Detective with a human trafficking theme. So in our research for this novel, I found out how serious this um, problem is of the human trafficking in, in the United States and all around the world. So I figured, how can I give back to the community a little bit and help these organizations? So we're teaming up with DeliverFund.org, and we're teaming up with Trafficking in America Task Force.org to help raise awareness for this problem. I'm also teaming up with Trick or Treat Studios, who, as you know, are making the Michael Myers masks from the Rob Zombie movies from Wayne Toss mold. So what I'm doing for this in-person costume I'm going to be wearing the Trick or Treat Studio masks. They have given me the set of three masks to do as a raffle giveaway to help raise awareness for human trafficking and to have one lucky fan win all three masks plus the jumpsuit that I'm going to be wearing that is specially made for that signing appearance. And these are the bad boys right here. Isn't that amazing? That's it most definitely is. Yeah, there's the one. Here's the mid version. <laughs> and here's the H2. Wow. So one lucky fan who does the photo ops and or buys a raffle ticket will have the chance to win these three masks and the jumpsuit I'm wearing from that signing. And we're going to be doing that at a few other shows to help raise awareness, to help put an end to human trafficking in America and all across the world. That is amazing right there, Tyler. And you were saying also people outside of this can also get amongst it, right? You're going to be doing stuff online. Yeah, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing, I believe four in-person photo ops. So if you can't make those photo ops, we are going to be running uh, another one online to open up for everybody. So stay in tune, follow mainentertainment.com, M-A-N-E entertainment.com, sign up for the newsletters. We got a lot of cool stuff coming and the graphic novel will be coming in October. And this here is some of the beginning artwork for the graphic novel done by none other than Will Conrad. So, The story is written by Christopher Priest, who did Punisher, Black Panther, Vampirella, and many other, he's written many other stories. And Will Conrad is doing some of the interior art. We have Jimbo Salgado is doing some of the interior art. Michael Montnot is doing interiors, and we've got Sia Ohm doing a cover, a special cover. We're working on a bunch of other people to get some other covers done, so it's gonna be a really cool, top level, top notch thing. And I'm telling you, the artwork that is coming back is phenomenal. Well, yeah, well, if the t-shirt's anything to go by, it's gonna be absolutely amazing, Tyler. Tell us about main entertainment and getting that going then. I, I just figured it was just movies, but you've got comics as well. Yeah, we're doing a graphic novel and, and hopefully gonna turn that into a uh, TV series so we can keep spreading the word and, and help doing uh, other stuff. Uh, for the to help put an end to human trafficking that's fantastic right there and you know it's like you and michael couldn't be any further from any different michael myers tyler main no idea they're trying to stop the badness. it's the it's the boogeyman helping put an end to the boogeyman yes the real boogeyman i absolutely love that right there and on the topic of the boogeyman can you tell me about working with rob zombie and what that meant to you to play such an iconic character 
Oh man, I'm telling you, I, I when I first met Rob, I met him on the set of uh, Devil's Rejects. I was replacing the original Rufus, and I worked for four days. I thought, you know, hey, this is cool meeting Rob and that. And then uh, a few years later, I think yeah, probably a couple of years later, I get a phone call from Rob, and he says, "Hey man, I'm doing this movie Halloween, and I want you to be Michael Myers. And if you don't do it, I'm not going to do it." So. <laughs> It was just so cool to be a whole part of that, and and uh, just just meeting all the fans and and being a part of that wonderful franchise. You know, it's like family. Did you feel much pressure stepping into the role, Tyler? Because it is such an iconic character. You know, I'd, I'd seen all the other movies and everything, and I did my research and I wanted to make sure, but I didn't realize just how big the following was. Yeah. until after i filmed which is a good thing because if i would have had you know people were trying to figure out where we're filming and sneak on set and all kinds of stuff you know, had to have security taking care of all all of that but if i would have known what i known today it might have been a whole different story you know but that's the same thing with uh when i did Sabretooth for the first x-men it's you know i knew about the x-men and i known about the the, the uh, cartoons and stuff like that but I had no idea how big it was going to be. I, I, I'm just, I've been very lucky with my roles throughout my career, you know? Yeah, so, that uh, is absolutely phenomenal playing Sabretooth as well. You played two of the biggest right there, Sabretooth and Michael Myers. Like yeah, I grew and, up yeah, in the yeah and Troy and, you know. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it's insane. Here's a question for you, Tyler. Sabretooth versus Michael Myers, who do you think would win? Well, I, I mean, I have, I'd be kicking my own ass. So, <laughs> you versus you, right? It'd be like, well, I mean, well, how would I do that? <laughs> it'd, it'd be fun to watch, but yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. You've obviously got like a, a big place in the horror community, main entertainment. You've got Penance Lane there, and you've got Compound Fracture as well, which you can check out in the back lane. Is is horror a big place in your life? Well, you know, the, the uh, Compound Fracture is. It, it's kind of like a thriller. It's it's uh, a ghost thriller, you know. And then and then Penance Lane is kind of along the lines of what we're doing here. It's dealing with uh, traffic, a little bit dealing with human trafficking, yes. but it's dealing with trafficking organs of harvesting body parts. So it's kind of we're kind of on that level, I guess. And and I came from the uh, action background, so you know we're we're kind of we're putting that little bit of horror in there, but we're also putting that action in and, and doing a little bit of everything. So. Yeah. Yeah. Penance Lane's a great one too. And, and Booker T rocks up on that one. Dallas Page rocks up on that one. And that had me doing some back research and I don't know, man, I, this makes me sound very ignorant, but I wasn't aware of your wrestling background. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Hey, I, I wrestled probably, I retired from wrestling probably before you were born. So <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wrestled. I wrestled from about '86, and then when I did X Men in '99, I hung up my boots. So, but I'd wrestled all over the world. Like WCW, I was tagged with Kevin Nash for a while. I was uh, Nitron Woman's Bodyguard, and then I went on to wrestle all over the world. Like I say, in Japan, Germany, Austria, England, South Africa, Yugoslavia, Mexico, and that's where I got where I actually made my transition because. Um, have you ever seen any of those Mexican wrestling movies? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they asked me to do one. I said, well, I don't speak Spanish. They go, don't worry about it. We're going to dub your voice. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like the late 80s. And I played an intergalactic vampire that shot laser beams through my fingertips and I had a pink fog that followed me everywhere I went. Don't judge. It was the 80s. And don't judge me at all. That's just huh? normal. Huh? That sounds phenomenal. Where can we check that out? I'm not telling you the name of it. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get their start somewhere. But, yeah, no, so it was it, it was really cool. And I realized from there that, hey, doing film is a lot better than getting dropped on your head every night. So I'm like, and they feed you and take care of you. So I'm like, I'm going to transition into film. And ever since X-Men... I hung up the wrestling boots and uh, away we go. And everything's been going good since, you know, knock on wood. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs>
I love that right there, Tyler. No talks of getting back into the wrestling side of things. Like I know a lot of wrestlers are making comebacks these days. Oh hell no, no. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I'm so far, far out of the ring in the arena. I wouldn't even know where the door is to get into it. So no. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, Tyler, if you weren't an actor, what do you think you'd be doing? Oh man, I don't know. You know, like. I grew up in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and I was working on the golf courses for the city. So I was building golf courses when I was younger. And then I could have transitioned into driving the Zamboni in the winter and cleaning the ice rinks. But I was like, that's not what I want to do. So, I mean, it's, it's hard to say. I'd be, I used to have a housing company building houses. It, it'd be, I don't know what I'd be doing. I just, I love what I'm doing and now I'm able to help people and, and do things and help, you know, help with these causes and, and just have fun doing it, you know? So. Yeah. Well, thank goodness you've sort of taken that route, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to know what you get to outside of the acting sort of career. Uh, but there you go, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, like my time off, I'm, I'm, uh, either playing call of duty, playing my guitars or, uh, just having fun working out or doing whatever, you know? So I just take it nice and chill and, and then, you know, run my company and, and deal with all of that stuff. So I'm pretty busy. Yeah. Love that right there. And of course, Astronomicon coming up this weekend. Yes. There's a lot of karaoke in that, Tyler. I was wondering, do you have a go-to karaoke song? Uh, go to karaoke. karaoke song. Yeah, I, I no, I don't do karaoke. No one wants to hear me sing. <laughs> I do. I think it'd be funny. No, no, I would sing as uh, Michael Myers. I'd be, I'd be saying <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Can't break character, brother. You got to just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that right there, man. That is fantastic. Well, Astronomicon coming up this weekend. We've got the graphic novel coming out. Is there anything else in the works, Tyler? Uh, you know, I'm training for a couple other things, and and uh, hopefully they get this strike figured out and we can start filming. And so, yeah, I got a lot of things coming down the pike pretty soon. So I'm excited. Oh, I love that so right follow there. Follow along, mainentertainment.com, and we will – let you know exactly what's going on with me yeah and definitely hit this man up on the uh instagram and facebook at the real tyler main twitter at tyler main tyler i really appreciate you taking time out man hey thanks for having me on brother i appreciate it